Imran Khan is following events for us from occupied East Jerusalem. Uh, hi, Imran. I mean, lots of alerts and statements from Israel about what it's doing in terms of defence against any potential external aggression. But in reality, I mean, what are they doing in terms of preparedness? Well, what they're doing is they're getting the Americans involved. Effectively, the most senior commander of American forces in the region, uh, the head of CENTCOM, actually is in Israel right now. They're talking about a coordinated response. The prime minister is talking tough, saying that the, the Israelis will respond to any Iranian attack. And then you've also got, as you mentioned, Yav Gallant there talking as well. We are hearing uh, that the Israelis are preparing for a strike within the next 48 hours. We don't know where that timeline is coming from, but there's also a second thing going on here. Remember, this is a response to an Israeli attack on the sovereign territory of Iran in Damascus. They hit a consulate. That's sovereign Iranian territory. The Iranians are being dragged into this, uh, and they've said they will respond in kind. This actually plays very well for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as a political move. He's constantly been talking about the threat of Iran for the last 20 years. Indeed, a lot of the time, he's been using that threat of Iran striking Israel as a way of deflecting criticism of his treatment of Palestinians and the Palestinian situation. So this actually is something that the prime minister is really playing up. He's saying that Israel has to be prepared, but this latest round of threats and counter threats from the Israelis and the Iranian is coming after a very specific attack. And a lot of people are now wondering what the reason for that attack was and what does it do? Does it make Israel any more secure or does it simply give Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, the opportunity to act tough and appeal to his base? Imran Khan, therefore, is an occupied East Jerusalem. Thanks, Imran.